these guys adorable? They are purebred Persians. It's amazing that they came from a rescue. Huh? Let's talk about that. So rescues and shelters will end up receiving a brood of puppies or kittens because a breeder, a reputable breeder, may have gone out of business, they retired, something of that sort, but they were reputable. That happens. Okay, but not so much with these guys. These guys came from an irresponsible breeder. Now, how do you identify one? Here are some telltale signs. An irresponsible breeder probably won't ask you any or very many questions. They don't provide documentation or registration. They allow early adoptions, meaning they separate the babies from their mothers way too young. And they discourage visits or won't show you where they kept their animals. They are also usually overrun with the type of animal they are breeding. And the animals may be living in filth and might even show signs of chronic illness. And to top it all off, because of the way that they're bred, inbreeding is usually a common practice, which is not safe. Now on the other side, a responsible breeder will ask you questions. They will have the pedigree or other proper documentation, which will establish the animal's eligibility for official registration. The animals will remain with their mother, if possible, until the day of adoption and they welcome you into the area where they hold the animals they are breeding and allow you to check out the establishment. They will also follow the federal and state guidelines on cleanliness, quantity of animals on hand allowed to breed, the breeding standards to ensure that inbreeding is not happening, as well as socialization, which is an important factor in every type of animal situation. But before you go to all the trouble of finding a breeder, Try checking with your local rescue or shelter, because take it from me, they get all kinds of breeds, even purebreds. So cute.